On a rest day, I decided to take a kayak trip from Bugsworth to Whaley Bridge on the Peak Forest Canal. It's a historic canal featuring a tramway link and was key to the local limestone industry. It's a scenic drive up with stunning views across the High Peak area. This is Trusty Bippy, the micro camper I stay in when I'm working away. It has a single bed and space for all my kit. My kayak is on the roof rack along with my paddle. There is a small car park at Bugsworth and plenty of spaces on the day that I went. It's a beautiful stretch of canal with lots of history. The basin was built to transport limestone from nearby quarries. The stone was then delivered to industry in the northwest. It was the largest and busiest inland canal port and the only one to survive intact today. This plaque explains the lime kilns were used to burn broken limestone. It was a dangerous process with high temperatures, acrid smoke and thick dust. Here's my kayak with my kit. I'm paddling the Dagger GTX. Not an ideal touring car but it was what I had with me at the time. After a quick look around I decided to use the middle basin arm to put my kayak in. It's straightforward access for kayak, canoe and paddleboard. I elected to seal launch off the side. There was a grass ledge which made it easier. I paddled from the basin arm to the main canal underneath the bridge where I parked. It was very quiet on the canal and I didn't pass any other paddlers or canal boats. The sun was out and it was rapidly drying this washing. After a short paddle I reached the Warfinger Cottage. This is a listed cottage built in the 1800s. It has a blue plaque on it celebrating the engineers that worked at the basin. The canal narrows here and is passable one craft at a time. Hiya. I do love paddling on canals. The scenery is stunning and it provides a very peaceful trip. The flowers, fauna and wildlife along the canal provide a feast for the eyes and sometimes present some unusual sights, like this water outlet. There are several bridges on this stretch, but luckily no locks. The towpath was frequented by joggers, walkers and dogs, which the Canal Trust helpfully communicates with. <coughs> Underneath the canal at this point is the River Goit. The aqueduct carries the canal over. Just beyond this footbridge, the canal joins the main Peak Forest Canal. I was turning left to take me to Whaley Bridge. Going right goes towards Marple and the Macclesfield Canal. There were many moored canal boats along this stretch. The Buxton Road is right next to the canal here, so road noise might be a challenge when sleeping overnight. The noise does spoil the tranquillity a little for me, but the amazing views make up for it. A few more paddle strokes and I reach the outskirts of Whaley Bridge. More wildlife here with ducks, geese and other birds. 
This overflow from the canal drops into the River Goit and then flows back down underneath the canal. Conveniently, there was a seat, so time for some refreshments and a rest. The weather stayed fine, which always helps with trips like this. When I am paddling, it's a time to reflect, to defocus from the stresses of daily life and take on the natural beauty that surrounds me. It's exercise for the soul, not just the body. I spotted this sign for the cafe back in Bugsworth Basin. Definitely a stopover for tea and cake. The cake was on my mind, so I made haste and paddled fast. The cafe was open so tea and cake was ordered and obviously enjoyed. 